Where was I? The arch factor. Can women smell the arch factor in men? Um, what do you think? Seriously, what do you think? I was going to get into the way that normally um, scientific anything gets published. So you can have a statistical phenomenon and you can have to study again and again and again. Unless the editors are given a reason why this is the case. They are not likely going to accept your study. Um, that's why often you see a discussion part that actually has various theories of reasons behind certain statistical phenomena. So basically it's telling the editors, look, you can pick and choose from those. And some of these discussion areas and studies make absolutely zero sense. Not to anybody who uh, knows about the subject matters, at least somewhat. But that's often what it takes, the writing and the rewriting discussion. You can get a little bit out there. And you can reference a lot of studies. And then you can go back to the mice and say the mice can smell oxygen levels. Does it mean smell is also the sense that tells them whether another mouse is Rh negative or not, or has the Rh factor, you know, for natural selection and pregnancies. And then the question, of course, is why are so many couples blood type compatible? There's a study in China that um, also talks about blood type the mating, uh, mating, statistical mating significance when it comes to blood type. So let's assume there is a study out showing that Rh negative people are much more likely to have an Rh negative partner already. And I mean before datebytype.com. Why is that? What sense is being utilized potentially by men and women to pick their partners? And mind you, um, natural selection, I mean, uh, uh, the women are really the deciding factors, in my educated opinion, who whom they choose and show interest to, etc., 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 in the civilized world, at least. And um, they show interest based on what? What sense is activated? So somebody, uh, it's always hard for people, it seems to me, to say, I don't know. You ask people for directions, you're more likely to get a wrong direction where the guy knows it's wrong or must be wrong or it's probably wrong rather than an I don't know and I never understood that but that's how it is that's how it seems to be in society as a whole so that seems to be also one of the things among the editors who don't want to approve something unless they can say this is why because they know they're gonna get questions they're gonna talk about what they saw and then somebody says, why, oh, this makes no sense, why is that? And then they want to have a couple of one-liners from the discussion parts, which by the way is normally the go-to place also for uh, scientific publications for the writers. They go there for nice taglines very often. And again, the study can be 100% correct and is, is extremely significant, but the tagline in itself highly misleading. 
and it can also be the case that the author, the scientist themselves, knows about it, knows it, but that's what managed, made it possible for him to get this particular study published. So let's assume again that RH negatives are more likely to date RH negative people and marry and have children with. What would be the conclusion? They detect the RH factor in each other. How? That is the biggest question. How? Which of your known senses is responsible? Or which of your unknown senses is responsible? What do you think is more likely to go to for somebody who cannot accept when he doesn't know something? By the way, this is for entertainment purposes only until you manage to show me the actual study proving that smell, that, what was the question? Can women smell the RH factor in men? Until one of you shows me and proves to me that whatever Jordan Peterson mentioned is actually has been shown to be factual.